Welcome back to C Sharp Code, episode 3 of our series. In our previous ones, we laid the groundwork by installing necessary packages and establishing the database connection. Today, we're going to implement ESP.NET identity and roles. That means by the end of this video, we're going to be able to log in, register, and also we're going to be able to register as an administrator or any role that we want and we can then choose what content gonna be available to the user the normal user and what content gonna be available only to the administrator let's get started in program.cs we're gonna add this uh, code to configure the identity services for uh, authentication using the application user which is the class that we created extending the identity user and the identity role we set the password requirement to be less strict and specify a minimum password length of five characters for now since we are still developing the app we're not we're, we're gonna allow the user to sign in without confirmed email in fact i'm even gonna uh, allow the user to sign in with only uh, his username and the password in the next step, we're adding a bunch of folders. First one, areas, and inside of it, uh, we add in identity, then pages, then within it, accounts. Now inside accounts, we've added three empty razor pages for register, login, and logout. And in pages, we're gonna add a three uh, razor layouts. The first one is identity layout, where we're gonna define the HTML st structure and link our uh, CSS files. Uh, this one is going to be used for the identity related pages, uh, register, login, and logout. For uh, view imports, we've specified namespaces that we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use across our identity pages. So we don't need to specify these namespaces in our individual pages again. Uh, finally, in view start, we've set the layout for our identity pages to identity layout.html. This means that all razor pages in this directory will use this layout by default. Now let's go to our register model. We can start by the model, then we're gonna go to the form. Here we're gonna uh, inject sign manager and user manager in the register model constructor. Uh, then we're gonna create the input model that holds other necessary data for a new user. In our case, we have the name and the password for the moment. Then we're gonna bind those properties to the to the form. On the get method, we're gonna set the return URL uh, to the home page. Then we're gonna create the on post uh, async uh, method that they're gonna handle the user registration. Uh, first, uh, we're gonna check if the model is valid. Then we're gonna check if the username already exists. If username is taken, it adds an error to the model state and returns to the res re uh, registration uh, page. If the username is available, it creates a new application user and attempts to create the user using user manager. Now let's go and write the code for the razor view. Now here, we're gonna create the actual razor view for the registration page. This one has a form that I'm gonna post to the current URL, which, be ha which will be handled by the onPost async method we saw earlier in the register model. Now for the login page, we're gonna do the same thing we did for the register uh, page, but we're not gonna add the user manager. We're only gonna add the sign-in manager because we don't need to register we just need to sign in. After that, we're gonna do the same again for the login razor view. And we're gonna add uh, the form that the user gonna use to sign in. For the logout page, we don't actually need much because uh, we're not uh, when you click on logout you're not gonna go to any page you're not gonna 
enter any information you're not gonna do anything so the only thing that we want to to happen when we click on the logout button is to sign out first of all and then redi re redirect the user to the home page and this is the code that we've added to the logout model now after we've implemented the logout register and login pages with their models we uh, basically we've, we've finished the implementation of the identity the uh, authentication now the only thing that that is still to be done is to actually test it and to test it we need some front end here is our index.razor and it's empty the way I love it to be in the beginning of a, a project I hate having uh, a, a new project but it's not new there is a bunch of stuff there so here there is two cases either I'm logged in or I'm not if I'm logged in I want to see logout nav link if I'm not I want to see the login and register nav link to do that we're gonna use authorized authorized view let's give it a test and we have in an unhandled exception lucky for you I have the solution you just need to add this into your app that razor now it's working but we're not gonna test the back-end functionality until we got some beautiful looking navbar beautiful let's try it now and it is working we can register as Bobby and now we can log in as Bobby as well and it is working all right we've taken care of identity now let's move forward to the next and final task implementing roles this will help us manage user access in our application in our program.cs just before the add entity framework stores we're gonna add add roles identity role and then in a register model we're gonna add uh, to the input model class a new property called role now here we setting up the role functionality for our users first we create a new identity role instance with a role name provided by the user during the registration and then we use the role manager to create the role in our database of course we need to inject the role manager into our constructor now we're still gonna need to change this later but for now that's gonna be enough the last thing is to add in the registration form the input and the input label for the role now to test it we're gonna create a new we're gonna add a new authorized view but this one we're gonna call we're gonna add uh, within it a role roles admin that means that only the admin is gonna be allowed to see whatever it is in there to test it we're gonna try to log in as Bobby Bobby is not an admin doesn't have uh, the role admin and as you can see we can't see the admin stuff showing now let's try to register a new user and give him a role admin and now we're gonna see admin stuff showing that means our code is working all right folks that wraps it up for this episode we've successfully implemented esp.net identity and set up user roles in our bookstore application remember rom wasn't built in a day and neither are great applications each step we take brings us closer to our complete fully functioning app if you have any question or need further clarification or anything we've covered in this video don't hesitate to drop a comment below in the next episode we'll be diving even deeper so stay tuned